Okay, this video has been made back in uh, March. It's a pretty old video. Um, some South African guy says South Africa is racist, whatever. Mr. South African dude, could you live in the conditions that the local Africans are living in? Could you live the way the Africans have lived? Could you live in South Africa in the exact same manner that the Africans live in? Then, with the education provided by your system to the black South Africans, could you get an education from that education, one that will take you to university level like you're saying? And then, if you don't believe that white people in South Africa didn't benefit from the apartheid oppressed uh, uh, upon the black people of South Africa, then you're stupid. Because you say that the younger generation didn't have anything to do with apartheid. But listen, you benefited from it. Whenever a group of people benefits from another group of people suffering, it can't be repaired. For always shall your people think you're better than these people that you believe you came to their country to help. How did you help them? Just because they didn't have certain things that you have, that don't mean that these people would not have survived and evolved without your influence. Right? Correct? Think about it. Why would I be speaking from America if your people wouldn't have been there? I probably would not be talking from America right now. Make sense? What if the Africans, like the Hawaiians, would have embraced someone other than America or England or would have never been conquered? Look at Hawaii right now. What if Hawaii would have leaned towards Japan, the Japanese, the system that they have there? See, you have to look at this. When the people invaded Africa and took over South Africa and all these places over there, they oppressed the people. Without giving the people the common knowledge and the will to gain an education by enslaving the people, degrading the people, you've changed the culture within the people. You cannot say that they would have not became a great society of a great people. They may have an organic based technology that we would never learn because of your influence. The same thing with the American Indian. You don't see the American Indian anywhere. You don't hear from them. You don't see them outraged. Their numbers were destroyed so much that they don't even make up 30% of the country which is theirs. Now, the Africans in South Africa. What if every African nation was united? There wouldn't be any whites in Africa. Do you think so? I don't think whites would want to be in a black world. That's why there's no continent on this planet controlled and truly run by black people. Every place that white people have went to, when somebody says, we don't want you here, they moved on. We don't want you here. White people stay, populate, and move on. They go. They go. They pop from continent to continent. Everywhere they have been, their influence have ruined the pre-established society. I'm not saying that white people are bad. I'm saying that all their ways are not good for all people. You think a South African black should have any respect for a South African white? I don't. Because from what I know about Africa, from being here in America, I wouldn't respect one white person overseas for shit. The ones here are fucked up too. But not all white people are evil. Not all white people should have to pay for the sins of their fathers and forefathers. You'd have to be stupid to believe that everybody white is bad. And you'd have to be even more dumber to believe that everybody black is stupid. 
is dumb and needs white people. That's the sad part about white people. They fail to realize that they have done themselves more damage than good. They destroyed civilizations just because they weren't the same as theirs. Come on. What is a savage? Oh, they live outside in huts. They're savagers. You once lived in huts. That didn't make you savagers. Because you can't speak a language. These people are ignorant and dumb. They must learn your language. You must abolish their language. That's not... Come on. Think about it. Think about what if a group of people would have was trapped everybody in, in, in Ireland and Switzerland and just, just took over our, you know, every place where the so-called Aryans were was taken over by everything but Aryan. Think about it. And think about the damage that the Aryans have done to the Aryans. That toll right there in itself is the most wicked and despiteful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. The deeds of Aryan upon Aryan, that violence and that inhumanity is greater than any atrocities created upon anybody else. And you, in South Africa, living on somebody else's land, eating food when other people on that, in the same continent, you guys grow food and, and black people can't eat it. Where's the logic in that? And of course, nobody's going to respect a group of people who can't respect themselves. And here in America, it's white people walking the streets with signs talking about they'll work for food. And white people riding by them, looking at them like, just because a white guy is broke here and has no money or whatever, he might like NASCAR or whatever, he might live in a trailer, he's got to be poor trash. Come on, man. I mean, from a group of people enough to another group, from a black man to a white man, the things that I've seen white people do to white people are worse than the things that I've seen black people go through. Because I have been desensitized to that shit. And to see you guys go through that shit, it almost makes me want to laugh inside to see a group of white people literally cry when they see this shit. They don't, they don't believe that their own people would do this to themselves. And they do. And it's all over money. You got white people crying, oh, the Mexicans are taking jobs. Oh, God. It's because some white guy in charge says, fuck paying Americans 20 and $25 an hour when these Hispanic people can do it for nine, ten. And there's Mexican Americans who don't like that. They are Hispanic people who fought for this country, died for this country, who don't like that. And then they don't go around blaming other Mexican people. They blame the white man because that's what it has happened. You get loans and they tell people, hey, you know, you just got to pay $1,700 a month. And these people get family members come in, help them buy the place. Good. It's how it's supposed to be. Then all of a sudden, they change the way they structure their loans. That $1,700 a month is now $7,000 a month. And look, you got white people saying, look at all these Mexicans, nice cars and brand. They're struggling to pay that $7,000. Life is tough for everybody all over the planet. But to believe there in South Africa that the black people of South Africa should walk around and there shouldn't be any affirmative action is stupid. There should be affirmative action on every single continent on the world. If there's a group of people held down by another group of people, the playing field must be made even. But as far as as I'm telling you, um, you don't give somebody a job that's not qualified. If there's a white guy qualified and a black guy not qualified, the white guy gets the job. If the white guy's not qualified and the black guy's qualified and other black people are there or, or other white people, somebody don't want the guy there or whatever, then you give the white guy a job? No. You give the best qualified person a job each and every time regardless. And the best education must be given to all. And until then, you 